Hello friends, welcome back to EduAccess Making Science Simple. Today we continue with Class 6 Science Chapter 7 Temperature and its Measurement. In our last video, we learned how to measure body temperature using a clinical thermometer. But here's a new question. When we measure temperature, sometimes we see readings in Celsius, sometimes in Fahrenheit and sometimes in Kelvin. Why are there different temperature scales and how do they work? Stay tuned. In this lesson, we'll explore all three scales, Celsius, Fahrenheit and Kelvin. Imagine this. You're watching weather news. The reporter says the temperature in Delhi is 40 degrees C, while in New York, it's 104 degrees. Both are talking about the same concept, hotness of air, but using different scales. Just like we can measure distance in meters, kilometers or miles, we can measure temperature in different units. That's why scientists develop different scales. To measure how hot or cold something is, we use temperature. And to put a number on that temperature, we need a scale. The most common one used in India and most of the world is the Celsius scale. While a few countries use Fahrenheit, Celsius is the global standard for science and daily life from weather forecasts to cooking instructions. The genius of the Celsius scale is its simplicity as it's based on water. It uses two reliable reference points called fixed points. The first is the temperature where pure water freezes into ice at sea level. This is set as zero degrees Celsius. The second is the temperature where water boils into steam. This is set as 100 degrees Celsius. This system was created by Swedish astronomer Anders Celsius in 1742. But here's a fun historical fact. His original scale was actually upside down with 100 for freezing and 0 for boiling. Imagine that. Thankfully, it was later inverted to the logical format we use today where higher numbers mean hotter temperatures. It just makes more sense. So, how does a Celsius thermometer work? The range between freezing at 0 degree and boiling at 100 degrees is divided into 100 equal parts. Each part is 1 degree Celsius. For example, a pleasant room temperature of 25 degrees means we are 25 degrees above freezing. A chilly day might be 10 degrees, while a hot summer day could reach 40 degrees. Here's another fun fact. The Celsius scale was originally called the centigrade scale. The name comes from Latin. Centi means 100 and grade means steps. So centigrade literally means 100 steps for the 100 degrees between freezing and boiling. In 1948, it was officially renamed to honor its inventor, but the old name is still sometimes used. Next, the Fahrenheit scale. This scale was developed by Gabriel Fahrenheit in 1724. It is commonly used in the United States. In Fahrenheit, water freezes at 32 degrees, water boils at 212 degrees. Finally, let's explore the third major temperature scale, the Kelvin scale. While Celsius and Fahrenheit are common in our daily lives, scientists needed a scale that was based on a fundamental property of the universe itself. That's where Kelvin comes in. It is the official SI unit of temperature used by scientists and engineers all over the world for precise measurements. This scale was introduced in the mid-1800s by the brilliant British physicist and engineer William Thomson, who was later given the title Lord Kelvin. His work on thermodynamics led him to propose a scale that starts at the coldest possible point. This starting point is called absolute zero. It's the lowest possible temperature in the entire universe a point where all the tiny particles that make up matter stop moving completely. Imagine them going from a frantic dance to a perfect standstill. This fundamental limit is defined as zero Kelvin, which is equivalent to a chilling 273.15 degrees Celsius. Because it starts at a true zero point, the Kelvin scale has no negative numbers, which makes scientific calculations much simpler. Converting from Celsius to Kelvin is straightforward. You simply add 273.15 to the Celsius temperature. 
For example, a pleasant room temperature of 25 degrees is about 298.15 K. Using this formula, we can see that water freezes at 0 degrees C, which is 223.15 K. And water boils at 100 degrees C, which is 373.15 K. One important detail, notice that Kelvin does not use the degree symbol. We simply say 300 K, not 300 degree K. Kelvin is essential in many scientific fields, especially astrophysics. For instance, the faint afterglow of the Big Bang, called the cosmic microwave background, has a temperature of just 2.7 K. And the surface of a distant world like Pluto is a frigid 40 K. But what happens when you read a weather report from another country or when a scientist needs a specific scale? That's where a very important skill comes in, converting between temperature scales. It's like learning a new language with numbers. Let's look at the formulas. First, converting Celsius to Fahrenheit, common in the United States. The formula is DGF ECJ DGC X9 per 5 plus 32. The times 95 part adjusts for the different degree sizes and the plus 32 accounts for the different freezing points since water freezes at 0 degree C but 32 degree. To go from Fahrenheit back to Celsius, we just reverse the process. The formula is DGC X DGF 32 X 5 9. First subtract the 32 degree offset then adjust the scale. Here's a fun fact. There is one temperature where the Celsius and Fahrenheit scales agree, minus 40. That's right, 40 degrees is exactly the same as 40 degrees. Brr. Now for the Kelvin scale, the hero of the science world. Converting from Celsius to Kelvin is wonderfully simple. K equals DGC plus 273. Scientists use Kelvin because it starts at absolute zero, the coldest possible temperature where particle motion stops. And to convert back from Kelvin to Celsius, you just do the opposite, subtract 273. Let's try an example. Water boils at 100 degrees. To find this in Fahrenheit, we calculate 100 at the 95, which is 180. Then we add 32. The result 212 degree. What if it's a lovely 77 degree outside? Let's convert that. We take 77, 32, which is 45. Then we multiply by 5, 9, giving us a perfect 25 degrees. And what is that pleasant 25 degree C in the scientific scale? We just add 273 to 25, which gives us 298 Kelvin. Now it's your turn. Normal human body temperature is around 37 degrees C. Your challenge, convert 37 degrees C into both Fahrenheit and Kelvin. Pause the video, work out the answers and test your new skills. Different scales are used for different purposes. Celsius, weather, daily life, cooking, Fahrenheit, medical readings in the US, weather reports, Kelvin. Scientific research, physics, astronomy, space studies, Let's quickly revise. Celsius degrees freezing, 100 degrees boiling. Fahrenheit, 32 degree of freezing, 212 degree of boiling. Kelvin, 0K absolute zero. SI unit, 273K freezing, 373K boiling. Conversion formulas help us switch between scales. Different scales are used in daily life, medicine and science. Great job everyone. Today, you learned about the Celsius, Fahrenheit and Kelvin scales. Your challenge, note down today's temperature in all three scales by converting it. Post your answers in the comments. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to EduAccess, where science becomes simple, smart and fun. See you in the next video, where we'll explore more about heat and its effects. Until then, stay curious and keep learning.